Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 29. Inside this video, we will see that after creating a form, we will save our form data to our database table. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. If I back to browser, this is the blogging website. Inside this, we have several different different categories. Inside each category, we have interesting blog topics. If I scroll down, here we will see the latest blog post. This is the section which is displaying the recently posted blog articles. Inside this blog article section, you will see several interesting blog topics. Back to the topic. So inside this video, we are going to create a form and by the help of that form, we will save our form data to our database table. So back to editor and first, let's check our database. So this is the database what we have connected and inside this database, right now we don't have any table. Let's check our migration. So database, migrations and these three migrations are by default generated. It means we have users table, password resets and field jobs. Apart from these default migrations, we have one migration what we have created in the last videos. So let's say that I need to remove this address info, gender and each column from this migration. So now when we migrate, the students table will have name email and mobile column. So back to terminal. Close this development server. Let's say PHP, Artisan and migrate. Pressing enter. We have successfully migrated all the migrations. If I back to database, reload this structure. Now we have all the tables. So according to the structure of a student, Inside this, if we want to create a new student, we need to make a form and inside that layout, we, will, we should have a name, email and mobile field. Back to editor. Close this migration. Let's open up our routes file. So routes, web.php and inside this route file, let's create two different routes. First for the layout and second to open our or let's say to save our data. So first of all, we need to make a controller and a model for that. So we are interacting with the students table. So back to terminal. Let's say PHP artisan make controller and we are going to make student controller. Pressing enter controller created successfully. Now next we need to make a model for that. So PHP artisan make model and before defining any model keep in mind the model name should naming convention have a singular name because the table name will have the plural table names. So here we have something called student only pressing enter. So model already exists. It means I think we have created so back to our editor, go to app, http controllers, so if I reload the structure, again go to app, http controller, so here we have a student controller, back to models and we have a student model as well. So first of all, we need to make some routes, so before that, need to load our student controller inside this web.php, so let's say student controller what we have created. Let's create few routes. So route get add hyphen a student making an array and inside this array let's say student controller which is a class and inside this we will create a method called add student. Now next and inside this line I think we have some error and th this is because we need to use scope resolution operator. Now next for the post request type so let's say route post here and let's say save hyphen student. This should be something student controller. 
it will have it's a class and inside this we will create a method called store student so the two routes we have the first route for the layout and second submit let's say submit and save data now next we need to create these methods so add a student let's create or open our controller so student controller and inside this controller public function we have this add student method public function the next method we have called store student so copy and pasting it here this method is for the post request type so inside this we are going to take our request object so first of all we need to load this request class and here it is now inside this public function add student we need to call a layout so return view and inside this let's say add hyphen student after calling this view file we need to create that so copy this name go inside this resources folder we should have a views folder and inside this we are going to create a file called add student.blade.php in the last videos all the concept of migration, seeders, factories, models, controllers, even about the models, sorry, even about the blade template engines, we have covered in the last previous videos. So if you have not any concept about these, what we are talking about, please watch our previous videos. So inside this layout file, we need to make a layout. So let's say form, we want to define our HTML form. Inside this, we need to take our CSRF directive to generate our CSRF token. Why it is important? Already we had discussed that. So inside this form, let's create a paragraph. And as we know that we need to make the three different inputs, one for the name, second for the email, and third for the mobile address. So name, let's say input type text, it's not text area. It will be something input type text name equal to name here now if I copy pasting it here pasting three more times and the fourth one is for the button and let's say submit type equal to let's say submit now next we need to change the labels and the name attributes so it should be email email here instead of text if I change to input type email next we should have let's say for the mobile so it should be mobile and mobile here after creating this form next we need to set the attributes for for this form opening tag so method equal to post and the action URL we will submit our data so action and inside this action attribute we will pass the url of this post request type so save hyphen student inside this action attribute back to controller so when we fill our data submit this data to this route and this route is going to call this store student method which is inside this student controller so go here and if I type simply print a let's say request all save this back to browser reload this page and actually we have stopped that so first of all we need to restart our development server so PHP artisan serve started now if I call our route solve add hyphen student and this is the form so inside this form if we need to pass data so let's say here we have some data putting some dummy mobile number pressing submit button and we are getting data inside this array format this is due to our CSRF directive and these are the attributes like name email and mobile now next 
we need to save this data by the help of model to our database table. So right now, we don't have any row inside this table. So back to editor. Now we are going to use our student model. So first of all, we need to load inside this controller. So how we load? So use, simply let's say we have the namespace as use app it should be models and inside this models folder we will have our student model where it should be and inside this models here we have student.php now go here inside this store student method let's say student underscore object equals to new and it should be student model now next we need to set the key value pairs it means the column and its values so let's say a comment setting values so student obj we have the column inside this table so we have the name column and we are getting our value inside this request and name the first name is the column name and the second name what we are getting the name attribute value for this name field okay now the next we need to write this piece of code two more times the second is for the email this is the column this is again the column name now we are getting the email value inside this email as a name attribute so copy pasting it here and pasting it here and finally save data to save our data we are going to call the save method so here we have let's say student object and simply we are going to call our save method back to browser and go here inside this form let's create a student so here we have the student name and this is a dummy mobile number pressing submit we are getting a blank page it means we have saved our data go here reload this page and as we can see that we are getting our data inside this students table so this is the successful completion of create and save data to database table also we can see that after saving data we are not getting any message that data has been saved successfully or any redirection so in the next video we will fix these type of issues like displaying a success message or let's say if we have any error error message and next after saving data we need a redirection so in the next video we will cover these topics so inside this video we have created a form and saved our form data to database table so for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.